One of the most important networking devices you can have in your home or office is a network switch. But do you even know what it does or how it works? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Over the last few months, I've had several emails from viewers and subscribers asking about network switches and how they work. More specifically, how they send data back and forth. So guys, today's video is all about you, the viewer and subscriber. We're gonna answer two questions. What is a network switch? And how does it work? And I'll explain in full detail how data travels through that switch. And just to be clear, we're gonna talk about layer two switches like this one, a simple plug and play. No configuration. So first, what is a network switch? Switches connect network segments and provide full duplex communication. And a simple layer two switch can expand a small network into a large network with no configuration or setup. And these kind of switches are plug and play. Plug the power in, plug in a network cable from a router, and the rest of these ports can send and receive data. It's that simple. And one thing to note about these type of switches, it doesn't matter which port has the input from the router. It can be any port. And layer two network switches can have five ports, eight ports, 12 ports, 24 ports. And when choosing the amount of ports that you need, you'll need to take into account the existing wired devices that you wanna to connect to the switch and also take into account any devices you may add in the future. So make sure to have some extra ports to allow expansion of your network. So the big question is, how does the switch work? When a device is connected to a switch, the switch notes the MAC address of that device. And that code is baked into the network interface card of that device. And once again, this is a MAC address, which stands for Media Access Control. Now, the switch uses that MAC address to identify which attached device outgoing packets are being sent from and where to deliver incoming packets. Layer two network switches maintain a table in memory that matches MAC addresses to the switch's ethernet ports. This table is called a Content Addressable Memory Table, or CAM for short. The switch's CAM table is stored in memory. If the switch is turned off, the table will disappear, and the switch has to relearn the table when it's rebooted. And when devices on the switch begin sending messages, the switch will start recording MAC addresses and the ports that the messages came in on. So for instance, when computer A sends a message to computer B on the switch, the switch does not know where computer B is. So the switch forwards computer A's message to all computers on the network, except for computer A. And this is known as flooding. So when computer B replies, the switch records computer B's MAC address and port as well. So the MAC address identifies the physical device as opposed to a network layer three IP addresses, which can be assigned dynamically to a device and change over time. When a device sends a packet to another device, it enters the switch and then the switch reads its header to determine what to do with it. It then matches the destination address or addresses and then sends the packet out through the appropriate port or ports. And that port leads to the destination device. And to reduce the chance of collisions between network traffic going to and from a switch and a connected device at the same time, most switches offer full duplex functionality. While it is true that switches operate at the layer two, they can also operate in the layer three. And those types of switches are managed switches. And those types of switches support VLANs and port configurations. But once again, today, we're just talking about a layer two switch, a plug and play. So guys, I hope you learned a lot about layer two switches. It's very simple. Just remember, they use MAC addresses to send and receive data. And they're full duplex, which prevents the chance of collisions in network traffic. So guys, once again, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. And remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video real soon.